Hello YouTube, Uncle Lucky here again and welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Quizinart. This is going to be a quick video just uh, just to let you know that we're on the eve of Star Wars Battlefront uh, launching tomorrow. And there's a lot of people talking about this game. This isn't a review by any means. Um, I haven't even gotten the game. Um, actually, I'm not going to get the game, to tell you the truth. There's a couple of points here that, that ring interesting to me. And it has to do with a lot of these game companies now selling all these season passes. And it's not... This isn't a business practice that I'm into. I really... I couldn't care less. I will never buy a season pass. I don't pre-order games. I really don't. I've been burned so many times and lost hundreds of dollars throughout the, the last couple of years on video games that I got the pre-order for them, and they were just terrible. They were crap from beginning to end, and you get stuck with that on a pre-order because you get promised all this grandiose stuff, and it doesn't come. You don't get it. Star Wars Battlefront right now is going to be the exact same way. You're going to pay $60 for this video game, and then if you're one of these people who thinks that you have to have the season pass, that's another, whatever, $40, I think. I mean, we're talking $100 for a game that, for all intents and purposes, Everybody that is on YouTube right now who has had anything to do with playing Star Wars Battlefront, for the largest majority, they've all said the same thing. You can get maybe 15 hours of gameplay here uh, where you're feeling like you like it. After that first initial rush of nostalgia that we all want because we, we as Star Wars fans love it and crave it, after that first bout of nostalgia starts to wear and taper down. Most people are saying the same thing. Uh, the game just gets repetitive and boring. The modes are, they say, the modes aren't all that good. Uh, there's a couple of of big epic modes and maps in the game, but they're not they're not cutting the mustard with it, so to speak, for a $60 price value plus the season pass. Season passes are no good. They, they're not. If you put all of this money into a game that is flawed after a pre-order, and then you've went ahead and gotten the season pass, you're stuck with a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty dollar price tag for a game that you probably get a couple of hours of entertainment out of, if that. If it's not a bug-ridden, glitchy, crappy mess, that's the problem. Everybody wants to rush into these pre-orders, and it's not good. It's not good for the industry to, to, to keep pre-ordering because everybody keeps walking away with a bad taste in their mouth, but for some strange reason, everybody keeps pre-ordering. If they weren't pre-ordering, then they would cancel pre-order stuff and, and nobody would be doing it anymore, but apparently there's enough people out there that are putting the money down to justify this. Season passes, if you really think about it, and I'm not... I've never had a season pass. I've never used one. I don't... I don't understand the concept personally because I'm just not into it, I guess. I'm a gamer. I love games. That's that's my, my passion right next to comic books. But the season pass to me is one of these situations where you sit here and you put down money for something that you may or may not play a couple of days, weeks, or months from now. You know, Battlefront being no exception, this this Star Wars craze that we're all pumped up for, we're all ready, we're, we're jumping all over the, the bandwagon for Star Wars. We've got a movie coming out in a month. You know, we're all about it. I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan. I, you know, I would have loved to have played this game, but I can't justify the season pass for anything. Because if you, you know, some people, I heard somebody on Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube say, you know, think about season passes. You throw a couple of bucks here for a season pass, and is that a big deal? Well, it is a big deal if every game you want to buy in the future has you buying a season pass. If you're buying a season pass for everybody, that's a lot of money. Ten, twenty, thirty dollars for these season passes. That adds up. So then you're sitting here with a bunch of games that have season passes. You only have one console and two pairs of hands, or just just two hands. <clears throat> Those are hands, right? You got two of these. How many different games can you play at one time that you, you need a season pass? It just doesn't work that way. And I think personally that we're wasting our money with these with these kind of things and these companies are getting away with it. They're making mucho money and it's uh it's kind of disheartening really i i just can't buy into the hype i really don't you know don't pre-order guys that's my that's my thing 
pre-orders, you know, don't do it. It's you walk away with a bad taste in your mouth, and then everybody wants to throw their hands in the air and start complaining about all these companies. But what do you get at the end of the day when you when you pre-order and you throw down all your money for these season passes? I, I haven't seen a return on investment yet, to tell you the truth. And if Star Wars Battlefront is what a lot of the uh, the YouTubers are saying right now, that it's maybe 10, 12 hours of fun nostalgia, and then after that it's just meh, why would you want to waste your money?